Hey, what is up guys? Andy, you know with a YouTube video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own YouTube banner using Photoshop. It's really easy if you just follow the steps that I'm going to go through. Alright, so you want to open up your Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop, CC, Creative Cloud, whatever. I'm not really sure which version, but um, anyways, you want to click File. I'm pretty sure you can do this with all versions. You want to click File. You want to click New. Name it whatever you want to name your uh, banner. So let's just name it Banner. You want to change, you want to make your width, or make sure your width is in pixels and your height is in pixels so you don't get this mixed up and you want to change your width to 2560 and your height to 1440 this make this is the this these dimensions are what's going to show up on a tv but most of the people that watch your videos are going to be watching through a mobile device or a computer or something of that sort but for the purpose of the video we're going to put it on 2560 since it's the max resolution and 1440 and keep your resolution on whatever it's at i keep mine at 300 and make sure the background contents are transparent all right you want to click okay and this big rectangle will come up now you want to click or now I'm gonna send a, I'm gonna give you a link in the description below where you can download a the YouTube temp, template banner but I already have it downloaded and I'll leave a link for that so you can just click on it and it'll start downloading all by itself and all that so it made it easy for you guys all right so I already have mine it's right here YouTube template banner it's gonna open up and see if you see right here TV is 2560 that's what our that's what fit perfectly the middle right here this is the text logo safe area this is the place that where you, you can put your text and stuff so if you want it to if for your banner and everything, what you want to do, next step we're going to do is we're going to click the rectangular tool over here. Make sure you're on the rectangle tool. And you want to go up to the fill and let's change it to black. Alright, now you want to draw a rectangle and make it where it's right along. It's borderlining right in the middle area. So I like that. Get that out of the way. Alright, now we're going to make another one on the bottom side, borderlining the bottom part too. So let's get that just right. All right, cool. There's our. This is the text logo safe area. Now, you want to um, do the rectangular tool again, and you want to pick the color that you want your banner to be. So, let's say for example, your favorite color is uh, let's see, a red. Let's find a good red though. It's not red. Um, let's just use let's use this red right here. All right, that that's an orangish red. Whatever. It's close and. Uh, we'll use this one. I like this red better. No, wait. It's changing my box. My bad. Hold on. We want to put this back to black. Okay. Now we want to click on the tool. And we want to make one more rectangular box. And it's going to be in the middle. So just draw a rectangle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure it covers the entire middle area. Alright. It's going to be black. You want to change that. Click up here and put it to your red or whatever you call it when you want it to be. Alright, so now you've got this part. Now you can go over on the layers part and you can delete your background. So just click on it and then click delete. Alright, so it's deleted. Now you want to um, find you click on the text, the text, uh, whatever text tool over here. And say, uh, I'll just do it from my name. You're going to draw yourself a text box. And let's see, let's make my font big enough. And let's bring it above, above everything. So. Yeah, okay. Let's bring our make our text box a little bigger here. I just messed up on that. My bad. Alright, so here it is. Alright, so let's make our font just a tad bigger. I'm using a I'm using Obelix Pro. I got off of a website called thefont.com. I'll leave a uh, link in the link in the description below for you can download fonts there. You just click on it. Your font you want to do, you click download, and then you click on it once it's downloaded, and click install, depending on whether you're using a Mac or a uh, Windows PC, whatever. <clears throat> so I'm using Obelix Pro just because I like the font and everything. Um, but anyways, let's make our font to a little bigger. Let's do 90. Let's see how big that is. Eh, I need a lot bigger than that. I'm gonna put it to 120. Not 920. 120. Okay, we can always alter anyways. Alright, so I'm gonna make it. Andy, you know. All right, so let's center it here. That looks about the center right about there. Something like that. All right, now let's make it a little bit. I don't know how big this thing wants to get. 70. 170. That looks big enough. It doesn't have to be, oh, my bad. It doesn't have to be super huge. All right, <clears throat> um, so you get about the middle. Now you want to click on the, or on your on the layers on the side. You don't want to click on the actual thing. You want to click out on the side right here a little bit, and it will pop up the layer style. Now what I do to make mine look cool is I scroll down and I click on drop shadow. 
and if you want it to look like this and make it stand out a lot better you put in these settings you want your distance to be set to zero your opacity you can adjust that however you want it i like mine where it really stands out blend mode multiply angle i don't know that changes using global light i guess spread at 44 and the size at 33 and everything else is the same all right you can also go to your gradients i guess and you can change what you want the gradient to look like i guess it just depends on what you want it to how of the opacity of it so you could change it where it looked like that and then you can go in here and in your colors you do you double click on this right here and it'll bring up the color choices so if we wanted a uh, say we wanted a, a reddish color like that and then we wanted the middle part to be a like a black maybe no it's too something like that or maybe a light yellow yeah like that and then you click OK and then you click OK and then there it looks pretty cool you have and then you could say you could get a you could go online get a flame picture or something like an animated comic or clip art flame you could open it you click here open it bring it in and then you can put it on each side of it and make it look really cool and stuff and then you could do it again you click text here if you want to have like your I don't know Instagram or something so you put here and you put in like um, let's make our font not that huge. Let's delete that layer right quick. New text right here. Let's bring our font down to like 48. All right, so let's do Instagram like that. And then we click enter. And then I put like at andrew.eno. That's my Instagram. If you haven't followed it, I, should, I definitely recommend you go follow it. Like, I follow everybody that I think I should follow, and I follow a lot of people. Anyways, um, so once you've got that there, you just click over on the side again, not on the actual text. You scroll down to Drop Shadow, and it makes that it instantly makes that effect already. Then we go back to Gradient Overlay, and you can make it just like that, just like you had the other font, if you wanted it like that. And you can also move the shadow around however you want it. So if you wanted it to go down a little bit, you could have it where it looks like it's showing back a little bit like that um, something like that and you click OK and there's your banner basically you click file you click save as save it whatever save it to our desktop let's make sure it's not Photoshop and it is a PNG file and then name it your banner or whatever you click save you click OK you'd minimize this and there's my audacity and here's your YouTube banner right up here and there it is. So you just go onto your YouTube channel, you go where you change your banner on the top part, and you would um, put this picture in, and it would make it where it looks just like this. And the black part, you don't have to worry about the black you put in. That's just showing for the, it's not gonna show up on like your actual banner or anything. It's just to like, helps helps you see where everything else is at. But um, yeah, hope this video got this, tutorial helps you out guys on how to make your uh, own YouTube banner with using Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, it's a really good photo editing software. Um, I know it costs and everything, but it is a really good software for editing all kinds of things. It's it's limitless what you can do with this. Um, but um, thanks for watching this video guys. If you really enjoyed this tutorial and it helped you guys out a lot, leave a thumbs up. It helps me a ton subscribing and everything. It helps me so much. When people share my videos, it's like the best thing ever because it um, shares my videos with everyone else and they're able to be able to do the same thing and my channel gets put out there and it helps everybody out. But anyways, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up button because it really helps me a lot. Um, and stay tuned for my next YouTube video. I'm going to be uploading another video really soon. I'm going to be uploading videos at least two times a week now. So, or at least I'm going to try to. So stay tuned for that. Um, thanks for watching this video guys and I'll see you guys next time. Like